We live in a world full of this beautiful thing called options, and if they make something in your favourite colour, why would you then go and buy it in black? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good and excited for a new video. So, I, like probably most people, have been ordering rather a lot of stuff on Amazon recently. It's obviously pretty much circumstantial, all the shops are closed, we can't go out and buy the things we want or need, and also we're a little bit bored and looking for ways to entertain ourselves. So I've been ordering a lot of stuff on Amazon and I just thought it would be really fun to show you guys the things that I've been buying. Because I feel like there's loads of really cool like random stuff in this haul, stuff that you probably didn't even know you needed. I'm also working with the lovely brand Burt's Bees on a section of this video to put together a care package via Amazon for someone that I love because also on top of the boredom it's really difficult during these times to be away and unable to see the people that you care about so this is something really nice you can do and also stay tuned because there will be a competition that I'm going to announce. So let's get into what I've been buying on Amazon recently. If you're new here to my channel today please do subscribe and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep up with me and everything I'm getting up to during lockdown. Okay so the first thing I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to lift up because it's so, so heavy. Um, but I saw these advertised, I think on a Facebook ad, and I was like, oh my God, that sounds like exactly what I need. So it is a weighted blanket from the brand Mela or Mela Comfort. I'm really sorry, I don't know the pronunciation of the brand, um, but I really am excited about this because I do have trouble sleeping at night. I could sleep all through the morning. Um, but at night, I just find it so hard to get to sleep. And something I realized recently that I like the feeling of is like lots of layers in bed, like a heavy duvet with a blanket over the top, even when it's hot. So when I saw the ad for the weighted blanket and all the information inside about how it really helps you get to sleep, it's really relaxing naturally. I was like, oh my God, it's not just me. There is actually like a science behind this. So they come in different sizes and you choose it by your bed size, but also your body weight. So if you don't weigh that much, then you'll have a lighter blanket. If you are heavier, then you'll get a heavier blanket. So I've got the 5.5 kilo, which is actually the lightest that they do and it's so heavy so I haven't opened it yet because I thought we could unbox it together um oh my god it's so heavy so they only do one color in the blanket and it's this really pretty um like pale gray but I did notice on their Instagram that they do a white cover for the blanket on their website but I couldn't get it on Amazon so I might order that and now I just need to try and open this it's airtight. Oh my God, this is like a workout. It's so heavy. Right, so this is the cover. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I hope the white one's the same like velvety texture. That's so soft and pretty. Oh my gosh, look how cute and cozy and snuggly that is. So this is the actual blanket. Okay, I won't bore you for too long, but I just think this is so interesting. So the weighted blanket replicates something called deep touch pressure, which not only helps you get to sleep and gives you a good Good night sleep um, but it also helps aid anxiety and they say that it can also help lift your mood and make you happier because it replicates that feeling of being hugged which I think is so cute so I'm so excited to try this out I really need all the help I can get in relaxing at night so yeah I'm really excited to try it and I'll keep you guys posted so the next thing I have to show you is another like sleep and relaxation aid actually inspired by Coco because she bought one of these from Amazon um, and I thought it was really cute but I actually had a huge huge spider drama in my room and it's a really long story but spiders are like a huge huge source of um like problems for me when it comes to sleeping. I get these really, really terrible night terrors and it's absolutely horrible and I thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to sleep. So she lent me this for a few nights and I just really, really loved it and wanted to get one for myself. And it is an aroma diffuser. So this is by a brand called Anjou um, and we both got this one because it was the prettiest one. It was white. And there are actually a few benefits to this. The first being is that it's a humidifier. So if your room is really dry, like mine, there's not a lot of moisture in the air. It's not very good for like your skin it's very dehydrating your sinuses I don't think it's very good for your overall health to be in an environment that's very um, dry so putting this on and um, releases like a steam into the air and it's a cool steam so it doesn't get too hot but it just adds some moisture into the air making it less dry and easier to breathe so you just take the top off and then fill it with water but then the whole point is you add essential oils into the middle here just a few drops and then it will release that essential oil into the air and there are so many benefits to the different essential oils so for 
example, putting citronella in there will get rid of mosquitoes, it will repel mosquitoes in the summer. We did peppermint to try and repel spiders. Or for example, if you have a cold and you're really congested and finding it difficult to breathe, you could add tea tree in or eucalyptus. It's gonna really open up your airways and help you breathe. And for me, the one that I'm looking forward to using is the lavender because I just find lavender such a calming and relaxing scent. So it plugs into the wall and it also lights up all different colors as well. And you can choose to have the steam going on for one hour, three hours or six hours. So you could do it just as you were going to sleep and it will switch off like in the middle of the night, which is great. And then I also bought a box of the Anjou essential oils. So in this set, you get the lavender, sweet orange, tea tree, eucalyptus, lemongrass and peppermint. So a really, really nice selection there. Isn't that a lovely little set? And it's really pretty affordable as well. Um, I can't remember exactly how much, um, but really not too expensive at all, considering that this will last you for so, so long because obviously there's six oils there and you only need like a couple of drops. They're really, really strong. So I think with this and my weighted blanket, hopefully I'm gonna get the best night's sleep of my life tonight. So now for the care package that I told you about at the start of the video that I've put together in partnership with Burt's Bees. As I was saying, this is such an unusual and difficult time for people being apart from family. Lots of people are feeling very isolated and disconnected. During this time especially, small acts of kindness can make such a huge difference to people and it can also really help lift your own spirits as well knowing that you're doing something lovely for somebody else so with this in mind I wanted to put together a really lovely care package for my cousin who is an NHS nurse she's on the front line right now she's really stressed and worried of course and I'm just thinking about her all the time so I wanted to do something to show her that and also hopefully encourage her to have a few moments for herself as well so I have obviously put the box together myself to show you but if you wanted you could just add all the things to the Amazon basket and send it to somebody's house and just choose the gift option on Amazon so there's no like prices and stuff in the box. But if you wanted to do it my way, I got this really beautiful like bronze gift box from Amazon with this really cute bow. So I'm going to show you everything that I've put inside. It's quite full up as you can see. I am going to put a little bit of extra padding in it just in case before I send it. So as you can see, first of all, I have adorned the box with Ferrero Rochers because who doesn't love them? I do have to admit to stealing a few as well. I also popped in a little mini yellow. Yankee Candle. This is in the Lavender Honey Gelato scent, which I thought was really nice because lavender is very relaxing and honey obviously relates to Burt's Bees. <laughs> and a candle is like the ultimate accessory to pampering and me time. And this smells so, so good. I really want to order one for myself. And then of course we have all of the lovely Burt's Bees products. They really are such a gorgeous brand. Everything is sustainably sourced and they strive for all of their products to be 100% natural, but they guarantee that all of their products are at least 95% natural. So there are no parabens or nasty chemicals inside them. They also work with TerraCycle and have their own recycling program to make sure that as little ends up in landfill and waste as possible. So they're just a really wonderful brand to support. And everyone I know loves Burt's Bees, like from all ages. Coco loves it, my granny loves it. I just feel like Burt's Bees is for everyone. So now I'll show you all of the products that I chose. I'm actually going to add all of these to my Amazon wish list. So you've got everything there in one place in case you want to recreate the care package for someone special in your life that could use a little pick me up. So first of all, I put in the sensitive facial cleanser and also the sensitive daily moisturizing cream. Obviously my cousin is a nurse, so she's wearing masks all day. And I'm sure she'd love to give her skin a little bit of extra TLC. Likewise with hands as a nurse, she has been doing that whole constant 20 second hand washing for far longer than we have. So I've popped in a couple of nice hand creams. First of all, the hemp seed oil hand cream and then a couple of little minis. This one is orange blossom and pistachio with sheer butter. And this one is rosemary and lemon. And then I also put the original Burt's Bees hand self balm in, which is 100% natural, made with beeswax and all sorts of lovely oils like seed oils, fruit oils, almond oils, that kind of thing. So hopefully all of those will stop her hands getting too dry and sore. I also put in a coconut foot cream and I also ordered one of these for myself as well because I do get dry skin on my feet and this is so nice, it smells amazing. I love coconut. And then finally, it would not be a Burt's Bees care package without their iconic lip balms. The lip balms are the first thing I ever tried from Burt's Bees and I just fell in love because they're 100% natural. They have the most gorgeous nourishing ingredients and they made such a difference to my dry lips. So I've popped a couple of my favorites inside. First of all, of course, the original, the beeswax with vitamin E and peppermint oil. Also the honey lip balm, which is I think my favorite. And then also just a couple of their tinted lip balms because they have all of the same like gorgeous, nourishing, hydrating ingredients 
ingredients so your lips feel amazing but they do have a really pretty like rosy tint on them as well so I've popped in hibiscus and rose so I'm obviously going to have to repack it but I just really hope that it perks her up lets her know that I'm thinking of her um, and reminds her to have a little bit of me time as well I'm also going to be announcing a competition at the end of the video for you or a loved one to win a Burt's Bees care package so make sure you guys stay and watch to the end on with the haul and the next thing I have to show you I think you guys are gonna really really like and it's these pink and rose gold clip hangers I feel like nice hangers is something people kind of like forget or don't think about but they just look so so pretty and they're really space saving as well because they're really nice and thin I would usually actually get mine from Primark they're so so cheap and they do really pretty colors but as far as I know like I've never seen them do like the clip hangers for skirts and shorts and that kind of thing so I got these from Amazon I think there were 24 in the pack so plenty um, and enough to leave me with a few spares as well and it's just so nice to have everything coordinated and looking pretty because I feel like we do get into the habit of using like the hangers that come with the clothes from like Topshop those black ones that are really clunky and chunky and not very sightly either and these are so much nicer so the next thing is something that I would definitely consider an essential and it's a pink spider vacuum like I said before I have real issues with spiders it's one of the reasons why I really want to live in an apartment with a concierge because if I'm ever alone and there's a spider I would have to call a fire brigade or something even using something like this terrifies me because it's still too close. But this is a last resort. It basically is a little vacuum that sucks the spider up. I did get one of these for my birthday, but it broke. And I actually really prefer this one because this one only has um, cartoons of spiders on. All the others have real pictures of spiders on. And I just think it's really ridiculous putting a picture of a spider on something that you're selling to people who are scared of spiders. To me, it just doesn't make sense because it makes me not even want to touch the box. <laughs> Next, I got a few stationary bits for when I'm doing my accounts and my tax and all that boring stuff. And this really makes me laugh because I bought a pink stapler and a pink tape dispenser from the same brand. And the stapler is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And the tape dispenser is like seven times the size of what I thought it would be. So I ended up with a miniature stapler and a giant tape dispenser. But it's actually so cute. And then it kind of occurred to me, like, why do you need a stapler bigger than that? Like. You don't really. And then I also got, just because I was being extra, um, some rose gold staples to go inside because why not? Rose gold. But despite being absolutely gigantic, this tape dispenser is actually really good and it came with two rolls of sellotape too and I just like having one of these for when I like package up my Depop parcels, when I package up my returns. It's just like much quicker to do it that way than always fiddling for the end of the tape. Also that's just reminded me how much it bugs me when people say why is everything she has pink? It's like because we live in a world full of this beautiful thing called options and if they make something in your favourite colour, why would you then go and buy it in black? That's why. And then a couple more like stationary things. I got these really cool Stabilo pastel coloured highlighters. And again, I like these for when I'm doing my accounts. I always highlight and colour code things. And then I also got this really cool packet of parcel knives. I had one of these, but I lost it. I think I actually threw it in the bin by accident. It's basically a teeny tiny handy little knife that you can use to like slice open your parcels instead of like, you know, peeling the sellotape or getting the scissors out. This is just so quick. You can just go like... <laughs> And it may seem boring, but opening parcels is a very big part of my daily routine. So these will really help. So next I picked up a couple of Yankee candles. I am obsessed with candles. I've been burning them non-stop in my room because it just makes me feel, you know, a bit happier. I just really love filling my room with a lovely smell. And then I discovered Yankee Candle had a page on Amazon and I was like, oh my God, I could have got so many. It was so hard to choose. And I thought I'd try out a couple of new scents. So this one is Sweet Nothings. I just kind of liked the look of the candle. It's lilac and it's got like bubbles on. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you what that smells of, except that it smells nice. <laughs> but this one is actually divine. It's cherry blossom. And I've never had this before. It goes so nicely in my room and the smell is just like it's cherry blossom. It's so floral and sweet and fresh and like springy. I love it. And then the last few things I have to show you, I guess you could say are beauty items. The first, do not laugh, but it's these um, like face knife scraper things it's to do that like facial dermaplaning and don't worry I'm not about to go like you know cut my face I'm obviously gonna like look into it and check that you know I can do it safely but it's to get rid of like obviously dead skin but also like hair on your face and I am basically a reincarnated cat and I do have fur I'm not gonna lie I have like a layer of fur 
on my face and I kind of like it. I don't hate it, but I am just interested to see what would happen because I've seen so many cool Instagram videos where they do it and there's just like so much that comes off and then the skin is so like smooth and shiny. So I kind of want to try it. So I got those. I don't know if they'll be any good, but you know, I thought I'd give it a try. I also got this body brush. I've been meaning to get one for ages, but apparently it's really good for increasing the blood circulation in your body, especially on your thighs. It's really good for getting rid of cellulite. They say that it's like the only thing that actually really helps it. And I will just say that the best thing for cellulite is going to the gym and building up your muscle and losing fat. Like that's the best thing you can do. But I've read lots of cool things about body brushing. I think it's quite a good habit to get yourself into. You literally just do this dry, like not in the shower. The whole point is like you dry brush your legs um, and it was only cheap so I thought I'd just give it a try. <laughs> and then the final thing of the haul is this teeny tiny bottle of castor oil. It did make me laugh when it arrived because I obviously thought that it was going to be a bit bigger but I think it will actually be okay because I'm going to be using this to try and grow my eyebrows and eyelashes. So I was researching like all different eyelash and brow growth serums and they're all like quite expensive, you know, you don't really know for a fact if they're going to work or not, they can't guarantee. Um, and lots of people say that castor oil works really well and it's really cheap so I thought before I buy you know an expensive serum I'll just try this first so it comes in the bottle and they give you a little spoolie as well to apply it so I'm just going to do this every morning and evening with the rest of my skincare routine just apply it to my lashes and my brows and hopefully see a bit of a difference <laughs> so guys that is everything that I bought from Amazon recently I hope you enjoyed it and it inspired a random purchase in you too <laughs> so now for the details of the competition Burt's Bees are going to gift one lucky winner with a big Burt's Bees care package that will be delivered straight to your door from the Burt's Bees warehouse. All you have to do is leave a comment down below telling us why your chosen person deserves to receive the care package and seven days from now, next Thursday the 14th of May, I will choose a winner and announce it here in the comment section of this video. So good luck, thank you so so much for watching as always and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>